and welcome to the June edition of this month's experiment from the Ruben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So today we are going to demonstrate something called Planetary Bulge. Very special thanks to Arvind Gupta for helping us out with this experiment. I'm going to tell you what you need for this experiment, all the materials, but just remember a whole list of everything, including the directions, will be on our website, www.rhfleet.org. Okay, so what we need is some thick tag board or cardstock paper, um, a skewer, a wooden skewer, kind of like this, you can find them in any store, um, a round lid, that's a good size or even bigger, um, a utility knife or a pair of scissors, like those, uh, some clear tape, scotch tape, uh, or a hot glue gun, or some not scotch tape, uh, scissors again, and hole punch. This is a very important final step. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Well, let's get started. So you're going to take your cardstock and actually cut it into four strips. Um, each strip, strip should be one inch by 12 inches. You're going to tape two strips together, so it should be about 24 inches long. So you should end up with two of those. Um, then you're going to punch a hole in the center and on the two ends of each strip. So you should end up with two 24 inch long hole punched strips. All right, you're going to put those together perpendicular to each other. It should look like a plus sign and the center hole should match up. And we're going to set that, actually can you hold that for now? Set that aside for now, thank you. Now you're going to work on the spinning top part of your uh, earth model. And you're going to take your bottle cap, uh, poke a hole through it, take your skewer, stick it right through. Um, you'll want your top to have a low center of gravity, so keep the, uh, the bottle cap on the lower end. That works pretty well. Alright, then you're going to take that center of your plus sign, where the center holes are, and put the skewer through it. Easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> that works. Nice. Push it all the way to the bottom, and then you're going to want to take each end and put it onto the skewer. Looking good so far? Does it look like a planet? It does. I mean, those strips of paper are making it seem spherical, almost like a planet, like a planet shape. Nice. A little bit. All right, your somewhat end product should look like this. Um, you're going to want to fiddle with it or tinker with it a little bit. This part should be a little bit looser so it is able to move when you spin it. All right, so I'm going to show you the finished product. This is actually a larger model. We used a film canister for the body of the top. Um, same thing, the cardstock strips. And I put a stopper up here, which is actually just a bottle cap. And notice, notice the level it starts at. It's just kind of right below the bottle cap. But once I start spinning it, that's cool. See that? It moves down and almost flattens. Right, so when we add a rotation, it's actually bulging at the equator. And so the top of it, or the polar what diameter, equator? the equator is the part around the middle, just ah. like the equator of a planet, like the equator of the Earth. So the top of it, what we would call the pole or the polar diameter, the top of it is actually really small. And then the equatorial diameter, the part in the middle, bulges. So it's kind of like a squishy ball, like that. So you're saying Earth is an oblate spheroid? An oblate spheroid. Well, it's a something flattened, like that. A flattened sphere? Well, yes, but the amount of the bulge is relative to the composition and the density of the object so, and the speed of the rotation. So Saturn, which is very, very dense and very, very big, mm -hmm. um, is actually the most oblate planet in our solar system because of its composition and how big it is. That is fascinating. Thanks, Brandon. You're welcome. So we actually have an exhibit right now called Giant World. It'll be here until Labor Day, mm -hmm. so make sure you to check it out, 2009. Um, thank you guys for watching, and do tune in next month, and also remember, do, do try, try this at home. home.